focus to edit and get everything done. Um, not only with a baby, like that's possible if you have a second hand, but Cody started working. He works long days. So today he was at the door at 6.30 and he'll probably be home around 10 p.m. Like, I mean, Millie's super active. She's super fun. She doesn't cry unless it is something. She's starting to get a little bit more, you know, fuzzy, but she's generally, she's been a very, very good kid. But now it's just us and we have our first patron, which I'm so excited about. Uh, we managed to, you know, cross that thousand subscriber line and it's just like, yay, it, all I want to do is edit right now. Uh, we're finally, you know, in a place where I feel like I can make videos that are just half decent at least, so. But to find time, oh man, she's sleeping right now, so I'm about to pull out, you know, everything that I have and to start to do this. <laughs> And it's what? It's 8.30 and Cody will be home in about an hour or an hour and a half. Wait, the sun's going down? How am I even able to sit here on the computer right now? Either way, wish me luck because uh, I really want this episode to be good. And I want to get it done, first of all. Hopefully she'll give me a good hour. Project solar installation without any davits or arch mm -hmm. yet. Well, What's we, going on? we have this guy here. It's a 52 watt panel that the previous owner had on board. You're starting this very modest right now, like sounding like this is the only panel we have. Okay, first of all, here's the deal. I just bought a bunch of Victron solar MPPT controllers and uh, these panels that were all the flexible panels that the previous owner had on board are very low voltage. I think they're at like 14, 15 volts for the 78 watt panels and these are at like nine volts. And that's not enough by itself to actually kick on the MPPT controller. It needs to be around 18 to 20 volts, 50% over the voltage of the battery. So we have to wire these in series, which I understand it's not completely right because I have a 78 watt panel that I'm gonna wire in series with this 52 watt panel, but they do run at the same current. So it's not too much of a loss. The two of our panels delaminated, so we're running a little janky right now. So we're just, this is the last of the But why power. not? You have to, there's no reason to just carry it inside. We're basically just, I'm picturing a lemon that I'm squeezing the last piece of juice out of, and it's not optimal. You would need a lemon press, but I'm doing it with my hands anyway. A That's, lemon press? Yeah. Have you seen and a lemon press? one of those squeezy thingies that you put the half of the lemon in and you squeeze out. You a lemon press. I don't know if you call it a lemon press. It's called a what? We'll call it. We'll call it a lemon press. press. <laughs> okay, enough with the lemon press. The um, panels that uh, are new are out here currently. These are not what we ordered, but we got them anyways. The folded ones uh, that fold down into a briefcase, mm -hmm. which we decided to keep even though we are not installing them on our future arch slash davit. Yeah, so I've wired up a 30 amp controller down below that comes up to a kind of a shorter wire that I can just drag out on deck to put these foldable panels up in case we wanted more power if we're on a comm anchorage one day. So these are the, uh, these are the Renogy 100 watt Eclipse panels. Eclipse, sorry, Eclipse. They're rated at 6.1 amps at 20 something volts. I can't remember the exact voltage, but we'll see what happens today. It's a little cloudy, but the past three days we've gotten uh, at least five point something amps. So we were pumping, I think just out of these guys was 15 amps yesterday. And I don't like to keep a lot of junk on board. Obviously solar panels are not junk. What's up, honey? Uh, but, these foldable things are so cool that I actually said, not that I decide everything, but I gave him the yes to keep them. Either way of what we're doing later, because then these can be pulled out as extra power. Sorry. 
<laughs> anyway, we're keeping them. What do you think, kid? Get a portable <laughs> cooler fridge? You don't care. But like a cooler fridge that dad can rig up in the dinghy and that way he can just spearfish all day long and the fish will never go bad. He doesn't have So yeah, if you want some cool diverse solar panels that are both efficient and storage friendly on a boat, we can now, after a few weeks, really recommend them. And we are not by any means sponsored by Renergy. Cody connected the last two panels to a controller and boom, we now had 750 watts of solar. Our Solvient flexible panels the previous owner had set up were slowly giving out one by one, but we still had a decent amount left on the spray hood and bimini. Cody ordered the panels we initially had talked about and we now have solar panels with a boat attached to them. And can proudly announce that our little boat can safely sit on anchor with 1150 watts of solar. With Millie approaching her six month mark of life, it was time to introduce her to some flavors of it as well. Mm. Also, her gums are itchy, so some cold relief was a good option. This also meant that our laundry pile would start to increase even more, and I began the search for a tiny washing machine just to be able to never fully fill our hamper. With US plugs, there are currently no good options for a tiny washer dryer, but with our solar deck, I felt confident there would be something out there for me. And so, okay. we're now the proud owner of this little gem. Oh, have this appliance installed by a qualified technician or service company. Failing to do so may result in electric shock, fire, explosion. Problems with the project, product, or injury. <laughs> I don't know what kind of technician you would call to install this, but uh, I'm gonna say it will be me. <laughs> it is pretty small in size, fits right on deck where it also can drain the water straight out and it runs on off cycles for up to 15 minutes. <laughs> install it? You install mean, it. I guess water plug it inlet? in. Okay, water inlet, yeah. which is this, yeah. and a hose clamp. Well. Which is supposed to work on your faucet. Which this is just a hole straight into the washing machine and drain hose and power. Yeah, install while well, you're gonna need a technician. <laughs> no major draw, so on sunny days, this is way better than hand washing, both physically and stain wise. <laughs> okay, this honestly is just a, an attempt, attempt to have a little washing machine that can wash her clothes and fur cloths and all that stuff. Oh, coming out. Gotta eat it. Swallow. You gotta swallow. <laughs> You okay if we run the washing machine to wash all your burp cloth? producing enough power to keep up with this. It's just we were already at float charge. So now all I have to do is squeeze water out and hang to dry. The spin cycle in this thing is garbage, but it can actually take care of everything except heavy towels and bed sheets. So I'm not complaining. And if you've ever had a baby with a blowout, then you can probably relate to my excitement. So guess what came in? I know Cody's been super excited about this. I am also getting to be excited about it. Um, we are getting a little freezer, like an extra freezer. And this has been Cody's project. He wanted a freezer for whenever he goes fishing to fit more fish. And I've been like, no, we don't need it. And he's like, yeah, we do. And here we are. Uh, I said eventually that um, if you can find one that can fit in this space where it has to go, then we can get one. I don't know if it's any good. The reviews are good, so hopefully. This can run off of 12 volt and it should fit just underneath our nav table. So, fingers crossed that's true. 
so excited. It can be a refrigerator or it can be a freezer. So, let's see. So that's going to be a tight squeeze, but it will be okay if we can't get these handles off. Basically, this should work. Life is good. <laughs>